My hair is still very, very slightly purple. I just want you to see the purple right there and right there. So much brighter on both sides. Right there, right there. Why is that? I don't know. Hey, what's up, friends, amigos, compadres, and cohorts? How you doing today? So, I am going to be doing something that's been long awaited, and I'm sure you could tell from the title what it's about. We're gonna do 25 reasons why Jenna Marbles should be my best friend. And like, the chances of her seeing this are pretty much slim to zero. But, you know, why not just do it anyways? Cause there might be a day when she sees this video. Let's go ahead and get rolling with the 25 reasons why Jenna Marbles should be my best friend. And P.S. If you see this video and you think that Jenna Marble should see it, make sure you find a way to share this sheet with her, okay? Because in my humble opinion, she needs to see it and watch it and love it and fall in love with me and we need to become best friends. But like, that's just in my humble opinion. <laughs> Reason number one, the pair of us are total goofballs. Reason number two, Jenna and I are both famous YouTubers, like obviously, like I'm famous, she's famous, and we were both inspired by other famous YouTubers. Number three, we both treat our dogs as our children because neither one of us really want to have children and dogs are a really good children. So we're those types of millennials. <laughs> Number four, when we were little, we were both total tomboys. Like she used to play out in the yard all the time and chill by herself with some dirt. And like, that was fun. I'm the same way. I used to freaking literally dig up worms as like a game. Like I would dig up worms cause that was fun and other bugs, but worms was fun to me. I don't know why it's really gross and it freaks me out now, but it was a thing. Number five, we could become a famous duo of tailors because we're both so good at sewing that we could literally take it on the road and have a road show of the two most famous tailors of all time. And we're also like comedic gold plus tailors. Like it would be the best road show ever. Number six, we are both total introverts to a degree like Jenna just wants to stay in her house and do nothing and she doesn't like collaborating with people that she doesn't have like a real friendship with first and I'm the same way like I would not want to just collaborate and be like business associates with somebody number seven she and I both have a special shoe box which I always saw that as like oh my god that's like a freaking connection not everyone just has a shoe box it's not like a super normal thing yeah Yes, a lot of people have a shoebox or a notebook or something that they keep stuff in. But I've like talked to a lot of people about this and a lot more people than you would think think that I'm weird as shit for having a shoebox. So I always thought that that was like so insane and so crazy that she has a shoebox and I have a shoebox. I'm like, yes. Be my best friend, Jenna. Number eight. We both be loud as fuck. Hers is more of like a mellow, she's only loud when she's like getting wild or like has the giggle shits. But me, I just have a genetic condition where I cannot not be loud. You're just gonna have to get used to it. But we have that in common. Number nine, we both love purple, okay? I don't think I've ever actually heard her say her favorite color is purple, but you can tell just by being obsessed with her like I am, she loves purple, okay? It's like a thing, she does love love purple. You all already know that I am obsessed with purple. I mean, have you seen my I'm not obsessed with purple playlist? Because that's a lie. <laughs> Number 10. We're both Americans, unfortunately. I used to love that, but now it's just like, mm -hmm. I'm on the internet too much to think <gasps> Americans. It's another commonality, which I'm not even really sure is a word. Let me just look that up really quick. <gasps> it's a word. I'm so smart. Good job, Paige. Number 11. We both have the almost exact same views on 
politics and how people in general should be treated and how you should treat one another and how I as a person should treat somebody else. We both have the same views on that kind of thing. We're coming in with number 12. So we both graduated high school as a really young member of our class. Like she was only 17 when she graduated, which is insane. And I had only been 18 for like, I want to say it was less than a month. My birthday is April 23rd, and I think we graduated on like May 13th. So it was like a few weeks or something. Like, I feel you, girl. I know what it was like coming in with number 13. We both have like almost the exact same intro, okay? Completely by chance, and it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I copied her. Like, that's not a thing. That, that didn't happen. I didn't copy her, okay? But great minds think alike, obviously. I didn't copy her. And if you don't believe me, you can just get fucked. Number 14. We both be cray cray in a I'm a 12 year old that just got all hopped up on some Mountain Dew kind of way. Cray cray but a 12 year old hopped up on Mountain Dew. Describes both of us. 15. We're both over the age of 21, which means we can get crank up in here. But like, I don't drink. She doesn't really drink. So, commonalities. Come party with me, Jenna. <laughs> Number 16. We both have dyed our hair purple, and we're both in agreement that purple is definitely the best color that we ever chose to dye our hair because one it's purple and two it looks phenomenal on both of us here's a picture of jenna to prove to you how phenomenal she looks and like proof right here <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding it's jokes it's jokes 17 i love her obviously and and Jenna loves me. And I have proof. I'll show you. Proof right here. All of this. Okay. Jenna loves me. No one can deny it. She said it straight to me. My name and everything. So, proof. The number 18 reason why Jenna Marble should be my best friend is because our boyfriends are the exact same age therefore they would get along because you know like everybody that's the same age group is definitely going to get along with one another like you're 24 I'm 24 we're gonna get along like that's a fact no matter what it's a fact okay fact of life you get along with every single person that is the same age as you <laughs> So that's 18. Number 19. We're both just oversized children. Literally, that's what we are. It's a fact. I'm an oversized child. Jenna is an oversized child. Just because we're not children age wise doesn't mean that we're not children, okay? It's a fact. Number 20! We have like really similar tastes in music. Like she likes rap and hip hop and I really like rap and hip hop. I probably don't like music as much as she does, but the only real difference is that she really, really, really loves Rihanna, which like you do you girl and I don't have anything against you for it, but I do not like Rihanna. But besides that, our music tastes mesh. Number... 21! We're both like extremely fucking intelligent, not to like brag on myself or whatever, but I mean, I'm a senior in mechatronics engineering in college, which should just tell you I'm good at some math and some book shit, okay? It's just a thing. And she has a freaking master's degree, and so like obviously she's super smart. You can just tell by like listening to her about anything that she's really smart. She knows how to get her words out and sound professional. She's a professional ass person, and we mesh. We're on that level together. I can be professional, but like do I want to be? Not usually. I can also rhyme because I'm a mime. I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. But like I'll stop now, okay? I'll stop. 22 our boyfriends are both like super annoying and the fact that they can seem so witty and so clever 
and they're so sarcastic and it drives me nuts that Ken does that and you can tell on Jenna's face how annoyed she is every single time that Julian does something along those lines like it's a fact she gets annoyed and I feel you girl like I feel you I feel your annoyance because holy shit Ken is annoying too 23 <laughs> we both love galaxy pictures and so like we're on that level we need galaxies in our life 24 we were both literally born to be millennials like we're millennials on such a freaking we're internet obsessed apple obsessed we have such liberal views literally anything that describes a millennial describes jenna and i okay and last but certainly not least at 25 we are both ceramicists I don't know if you know what a ceramicist is, but basically it's just a person that does ceramics. And Jenna has done a ceramic sculpture before, okay? So that makes her a ceramicist. And I mean, she totally sucks at it. Don't get me wrong. Jenna is totally horrible at ceramics. But like, I'm a famous ceramicist. Like, I got YouTube videos of me doing ceramics and everything. One of them has 12,000 views. So I obviously I'm famous as fuck so like I can teach you girl I'm good at ceramics I got you and so commonalities so that was the last thing if those aren't the reasons why the two of us would make the most epic twosome ever then there are no reasons ever in the history of anything why two people should be best friends like those are the most epic reasons ever 25 25 count them epic ass reasons why jenna marbles you girl i know you're watching this <laughs> should be my best friend okay and with all this being said i have one last thing to add it's kind of on a sad note it's it's a little it's a little down you guys so like come down here on this level with me jenna I've actually changed my mind. I can't be your best friend anymore because you zip your full zip jackets all the way up to the neck indoors. I simply can't stand people who do that because like, why? Why? If you're gonna zip it all the way up to the top, wear a freaking hoodie. What's the point of having a full zip jacket on if you're gonna zip it all the way to the top? The whole point of the zipper is so that you can freaking zip it halfway down. It's the whole point. And then like if you go outside and it is that windy and that cold that you need to zip it up, there's that option. But it's not meant for inside, okay? It's just not. We were soulmates in another life. We, we truly were. But that life was before the invention of full zip hoodies. Today, I'm sorry to say, I simply can't be your friend anymore. I will always love you and you will always be in my heart, but it's time to say goodbye. I'll miss you. You truly were my spirit animal and I'm sorry. Bye, Jenna. Subscribe! <laughs> and follow me on other social media because your girl's active. Paige L. Knowles, go follow. I love you, Jenna. P.S. Jenna, if you actually are watching this, that was a fucking joke. I will totally be your damn best friend. If you if you want to message me or if you like want to respond to one of my mini messages that I'm going to send you after this video because like, holy fuck, I really want you to watch this video because <laughs> I have nothing better in my life, literally. I'm a 24-year-old college student who has three jobs, one of which is broadcasting on the internet, and I make zero money. So if you want to hang out with me, girl, I will fly from Indiana to LA to hang out with you. Like, I love you. But like, you're probably not going to watch this. So all you other guys that are watching this, please share the damn video to Jenna Marbles. I don't care where you share it. Share it on your Twitter. Share it on your Instagram. Share it on your freaking Reddit. Share it to Julian. Share it to Jenna's mom. Share it to everyone. Share it to Rome. Like, sh just share it, okay? She needs to see it. <laughs> Jenna, I love you. Be my best friend.